I'm Lynn Langett for Dun & Bradstreet, and in this screencast, I'm going to talk about DNB's data quality solutions for Microsoft. Specifically, we're going to look at a customer scenario where we want to blend two separate customer and prospect files using SQL Server 2012, SSIS or Integration Services, and DNB's data quality solutions. So let's get started. So to understand our scenario better, we're going to look at our fictitious company called Pimic Pinnacle Prime. Pinnacle Prime is a CRM company that has recently acquired a marketing automation company called Precise View. So they have two separate lists of customers and management wants to identify the overlap in these customer and prospect lists and to have the lists combined to make one efficient and complete master list so that they can grow their business. So how can they do that? How can they get that one customer master by combining these two diverse and really incomplete and consistent customer data sets? This is a really common business problem. Well, they can use a DNB company cleanse match solution. So let's see what solutions they have to pick from given that they're a Microsoft shop. So there are three. The first one exposes an API or an endpoint that developers can program against using the .NET Framework in Visual Studio, or really any sort of OData kind of solution, even including the new Power Query and the Power BI. The second one is an endpoint that was specifically created to work with SQL Server 2012 data quality services. And that's a kind of an analyst type solution usually. Sometimes DBAs will work with that. The one, however, they chose and that we're going to focus on for this presentation is the cleanse match that's exposed through SQL Server in our case 2012 integration services and this will be exposed as a component that can be made part of a data flow for either a one-time or a reoccurring package or set of packages. So they picked this because the cleanse match offering had the functionality they were looking for and that was it would help them to unite these disparate pieces of business data and complete that data, find potential duplicates, allow for filtering, and result in a single view of the customer list or for their business. They picked DNB over other vendors because of the sophisticated matching technology. And we'll take a look at some of the options as we go through the demo, the basic matching and some of the pattern matching that you can do to um, in, improve the filtering or improve the results based on your business requirements. And they also picked DNB because DNB has the largest global database. It's the largest one in the entire world. And of course, they integrated with the Microsoft products that they already had. Another reason they selected DNB as their vendor is because of the DUNS number identification process, which is really vital in finding duplicate records and identifying businesses through this validated process that DNB has uh, built its business on for many, many years. So it helps with avoid duplication, it will link related companies, and it's really designed to streamline disparate data into a single customer view. So that you can visualize what can be done through this cleanse match, here's a set of three different types of records that after being processed through cleanse match results in a complete and very usable record. So you can see on the left side you've got different company names, you've got different addresses, you have some information that's the same, some that's different, and after running through the cleanse match process, you can see you've got a very complete and correct and verified business name, uh, you have an alias for the business, you have the P.O. box, the street address, you have the key contacts in the business, and DNB actually has even more than that in their, in their various data sets. So lots of rich business information, all, to, all keyed off of their DUNS number. So what this looks like in a Microsoft DBA's workflow is something like this, and we'll be uh, seeing this in just a minute in the demo. So um, we made it as simple as possible so you could work through the workflow, and we actually I'm going to show you two different um, SSIS packages so that you can understand how this component from DNB works. Um, but this is our scenario where you have two input files, we just have them in Excel that have incomplete information, we actually have only one record in each one, and then we run through the cleanse match, which completes the record and uh, associates a DUNS number with it, 
then we sort it because that's required for a join in SSIS and then perform a merge join so that we get a complete and correct in this case single customer record obviously you do this with hundreds or thousands or even millions of records in the real world but just so you can see how the process works so as we move into the demo um, the tooling that we're going to use is SQL Server data tools to create our SSIS package in Visual Studio 2012 I happen to be running on Windows 8 but that's not a requirement um, also this component is designed to work with SQL Server 2008 as well and when you go and install it it'll actually detect the version of SQL Server that you have and um, ask you to verify which edition you want to install for example if you had multiple editions on the same um, machine so let's switch over to demo so in this first demo what I've done is I've set up a package so that you can understand the components and the, basically the inputs and outputs around the DNB cleanse match uh, task in the SSIS toolbox. So um, assuming that you're familiar with SSIS packages in the control flow, this is just a single data flow task. So that expands, of course, over here, and we have an input, which is a flat file, and then we have the, the cleanse match, which we just pull over from the SSIS toolbox, and then we have up to four different outputs from this. Now in our actual scenario we only care about the matches um, because again that's simplified but I wanted you to see this as well. So you can see that we have the match output, we have the non-match output, the data error output, and the pre-validation failure output. So these are the four kinds of output and in a production package you probably would put all four of these um, components in here just to test for these different conditions. Again I split these two into two separate packages so that you could better visualize what was happening. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you a bit about the component. The first section where you put in your API key and your credentials, obviously I'm not going to show you because I'm not going to show you my credentials, but the second part where you can do configuration against the match I do want to get into, so I'll pause and set that up. So the first section of the component that I want to call out is the input mapping. And you can see that for this particular uh, cleanse match data set, there are a couple fields that are required the company name and the country now if you are using businesses in the United States then the state is also required this is not required for non-US and to set the mapping you just set the mapping from the input column which in our case is a CSV file so these are required and if you try to run the transform without the required fields it will throw an error now in addition to this information you can be more granular about the settings and you can see by default the auto correction threshold is 8 and the minimum confidence level is 4 and this is clearly explained in the DNB documentation that you will get when you uh, try out the component in addition to that they have this match grade algorithm and what this does is this allows you to configure if there are certain fields for your particular business situation you want to require an exact match and um, this manifests in a match pattern so for example if I say it's got a match exactly on city you can see that will be an A on city and again there's different levels of matching that are configurable and this will be um, explained in the accompanying documentation but I just wanted to point this out since you'll be encountering this when you configure the component by default there's no exact match required and you can just manually turn this on so once you're done um, setting this up you click OK and then to see the package in action, we'll just go ahead and click Start. And you can see that there is a row count that comes out of each of these outputs, which is really quite useful. Of course, you could put a data viewer if you had complex transforms so that you could, when running in debug, visualize what was coming out. But you can see you had two rows come in and DNB found two matches so it completed the information based on um, its uh, service and match algorithm. Now the simplest possible way to set up our scenario is we have the two input files so if we um, took a look at these this would just be incomplete information and I have it in the slides so um, we have we're using the Dell Computer Corporation so we have partial information on Dell and then what we've done is we've um, had two instances of the cleanse match because we have multiple files coming in and then uh, just a common pattern that you'll use is why I wanted to use this as a demo package. You'll have the match output 
and then you'll have to sort it because in order to merge it together, um, which you'll want to do because one of the outputs that you'll get here is a DUNS number. Um, in this case, if we're wanting to eliminate potential duplicates, a great way to perform that elimination is to match on the DUNS number, but in order to do that, the outputs have to be sorted for the merge join task to work, and then you'll have your output here. Now to take us through one more time what we just saw in the demo, you can see that the um, individual input files from the two different companies had what was in their database for a particular customer record. So Pinnacle had Dell Corporation plus a couple more pieces of information about Dell Corporation and Precise had Dell Incorporated, which turns out to actually be a duplicate so it should be combined. So the first step was to run both of those records through the DNB cleanse match process through SSIS and then the information that was missing, like the street address and the phone number and things like that, would be retrieved from the DNB database and a DUNS number would be assigned. And those processes were run in parallel. And then the output from this would then be sorted and then merged on the DUNS number so that a single unified complete customer record or set of records, as would be more realistic, would be produced. So another way to look at this is to look at the input. So if you look at the sky blue, you can see in 1A in, that was what was in the Pinnacle Prime customer record. And after being run through the cleanse match, you can see the record was completed. On precise view, the kind of sea green color, you can see that was the input. So it had more information but didn't have a phone number. And you can see the output again was completed and corrected by the DNB algorithm. And then after the merge, you can see the merge was performed on the DUNS number, and there were two additional columns added to the output, the source file 1 and the source file 2, which again, this could be customized in any way that was appropriate for your business. So you could put the date the customer records were entered, you could you know, have one database be authoritative, uh, you know, we're really familiar with all these things SSIS can do, but the point is when you're doing the merge, you may want to have some more lineage type data so you can understand how this record got, got in place. So using the DNB uh, products and existing Microsoft technologies, Pinnacle Prime was able to easily get their blended customer and prospect file. So they got a combined view of their new company, customers with their own, and they had a com more complete view because in running through the transformative process, the DNB database was able to supply missing information. And importantly, it also supplied a DUNS number. An interesting aspect to this, as I mentioned initially, but I'll say again, is that DNB has a plethora of information about businesses, much more than just address and who's the president and so on and so forth. So the key to being able to retrieve that information is to accurately identify the data with the DUNS number. And that's one of the reasons that we're starting with this presentation so that you can understand how to associate that DUNS number and have complete and basic records and then decide if you want to or need to get more business information from DNB. If taking a look at the SSIS preview component for DNB Company Cleanse Match has got you intrigued and you want to get started, you want to go to this URL, http dnb mscom to request your trial access for this preview component. You also might want to go over to the Windows Azure Marketplace to learn more about other DNB data quality solutions in the DNB Company Cleanse and Match category and also in other offerings, things like global address validation, company demographics, firmographics, family hierarchy, business insight, and a lot more. I'm Lynn Langett for Dun & Bradstreet. Have a great day.